Uh, Emily Thornbury, um, there's been a lot of attacks on your party's patriotism and so forth over the last mm. few weeks, as you've seen. And another story in the papers today about Jeremy Corbyn and the IRA. Um, what's your message to those people who are patriotic, working-class voters, and they look at this stuff and they say, I just don't like it? Well, I think that there were, there were negotiations going on behind the scenes and there were people speaking openly. And, uh, and this has been, and this is something which has been known for 30 years, and it's being dragged up at this particular time because there's a general election on. And I think Not that, surprising. And I think, well, yeah, but you know. I yeah, know. I mean, I think the, the, the question. Risk. No, no, I understand that. And, and I suppose if you judge people by who it is that you spend time with, um, the question has to be do you, know where, do you remember where you were on the 27th of May 2007? I'm sure you're going to tell me. Yes, I am. So you were in Syria um, and you were celebrating at a reception the re-election of President Assad with a 99% uh, percentage of the vote. Now, I'm not going to judge you on you going to a reception with Assad and I don't think that people should judge Jeremy by, by trying to talk to people who might be open to a settlement in Northern Ireland. Is I think true? there's a little bit is of a difference. Is this true? I, there was a parliamentary visit. I, I was on a parliamentary all-party visit to uh, Syria back in 2007. Mm. MPs have gone every year to Syria during the better times uh, in the relationship between Syria and Britain. But you were at the party, weren't you? I don't recall any party in Syria. I remember a fact-finding visit to Syria. That happened every year with MPs going out there. Did, did but the difference, meet, of did course... Did you meet Assad when you were there? Uh, I did meet Assad, indeed. indeed. Shake his hand and... In, indeed, I met Assad. And you Assad, celebrated oh, his re-election. Ten years... Well, yes, I didn't celebrate well, his was, re-election. Well, that was what the reception was for. Nonsense. It was for celebrating his re-election. Nonsense. Ten years ago, we had a different okay. relationship with Assad here. But there's a huge moral difference between talking to other foreign leaders, and I meet them all the time as Defence Secretary, and uh, Jeremy Corbyn's quite open support for the IRA. Which was actually engaged in Northern, not in Northern Ireland. Having open support for the IRA. Well, you you was, really can't just doing? go around making this stuff up. There's he an election on, the and people struggle. need to make decisions had, on the basis of the truth. Do you condemn what the IRA did? I condemn all bombing. It's not a good idea. It's terrible what happened. It's not and, the question. Uh, the question is, do you condemn what the IRA did? <clears throat> Look, I condemn what was done by the British Army as well as by other sides as well. Are you refusing to condemn what the IRA did? Jeremy? Hello. I think yeah. we're going to have to do this later, you know. Okay, well, let me, let me, just, let me just... This last question while it's quiet there. Are you refusing to condemn what the IRA did? <laughs> 